Barbara Corcoran is our expert on all things real estate, and she's going to talk about the critical questions you need to ask before you buy. Barbara, good morning to good you. Good morning, Matt. First of all, are we talking about buying to live in this home, or are we talking about buying a piece of property as an investment? Well, they're both good investments right now, if you're really careful with your numbers. But we're really talking about if you want a house to live in. All right, so you have to ask some questions, and this first question seems like a pretty good one. Why is the owner of the house, the current owner, moving? That's a good question, and the broker doesn't have to give you the answer on that. But if you ask, most times you'll get an answer, and things like, I'm getting divorced or I'm moving to Dallas is your single best indicator as to how anxious that owner is to sell. How about I, I'm in financial trouble because of the economy? No one's going to really be that honest, but if you really poke a little bit about, you're going to find out really how urgent they are. You also want to ask and find out how long this house has been on the market and, and what are the keys to know there? The reason you want to know why it's how long it's been on the market, if it's been on the market for six months and has had three price reductions, that's a homeowner who's ready to pop. You can put in a low bid there and get that house cheap. That's why you want to ask that question. And if it's been, a, conversely, if it's only been on the market for a month or so and there's been no movement on the price, you want to stand back a little bit there? You just want to go on to your next house. You're not going to get a good deal in that place at all. One more. We've got time for actually two more. What's under the carpet? A lot of people, they have fancy rugs and carpets down, but you need to know what's beneath that. Yeah, and you, no one feels comfortable ripping up the carpet to having a good look. But what you can do is look in the closet, because most homes built before 1945, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me for it's that. It's okay. Before 1945 have nice, beautiful hardwood floors. Those after 45 don't. So if you look in the closet, you'll see the plywood or the hardwood. And finally, take a good look at the town you're considering moving into and find out what what the town is like, and in particular, that neighborhood is like off hours. Off hours. Everyone looks at houses and goes back for a second look in the middle of the day. Go on Saturday night, and you'll spot the noisy neighbor. Go on rush hour, and you'll see how busy the traffic on your street is. Bottom line, though, you say it's a good time to buy for investment or to live. It's a great time if you're courageous and you don't mind being lonely when you're out there shopping all by yourself. <laughs> Barbara Corcoran. Barbara, thanks very much.